So here we are, some 7,000 miles odd from the UK and about 7,000 feet up in the Himalayas in Himachal Pradesh in northern India. And this is where all the wood carving is taking place for the Eagle Bray log cabins. They've been hard at work for the best part of a year carving away uh, all the panels that go inside the cabins and uh, uh, the reception building and the fencing around the decking for the reception. So it all happens in this house here. This is my brother-in-law's house. And uh, he's a master carver and supervises all the work, does all the drawings uh, and designs and uh, they actually do the carving. Hello. This is Hello, Bicky. <laughs> he's my brother-in-law and uh, yeah, he's going to show you everything. That we've got the full stock of pieces uh, inside and then we'll have a look at where all the work's taking place. Let's go. <laughs> this is his house. Agajar. <laughs> like a true rabbit warren of a house. Got about a hundred rooms in it, even though it looks like it's got about three from the outside. Hi. <laughs> So, all the pieces that are ready end up in here. Um, it's going to be a big job transporting all of this lot back to Scotland, but uh, we've got an idea. We'll pack it up into five or six different blocks. There's actually one consignment already gone, and a few of the bits got damaged, so we're going to have to think again about the uh, packing style. These pieces here are all the bits that are... Well, by the time you see this film, they should be in place around the decking in front of the reception building by the pond. They're all, they're all double sided so one side will show on, onto the pond side and one side into the decking. Um, there's 60 odd of those pieces there all stacked up there. All the designs are sort of a Celtic, Pictish, Scottish themed designs uh, to um, look the part back home in uh, Strathglass. So it's been a bit of a learning curve for these guys here who are much more used to carving uh, traditional Indian designs. Um, you can see a big mixture. There's a sort of a Scottish crown with a thistle in the middle. So it's quite strange that all <laughs> these Celtic patterns have been carved out here in the Himalayas. Um, so those are the reception pieces. All these pieces here piled up here are going on the balcony area for the medium sized cabin, um, the cabin that sleeps a maximum of six people with two uh, bunk, uh, log bunks upstairs. They're all double sided as well, so from the log bunk side uh, you'll be able to see carvings and down, down below from the open, the open plan sitting area you'll be able to look up and see all these carvings. I don't know, you might reckon that every piece is different. Some of the designs have been repeated here and there, but every piece is generally different. There's a mixture of Scottish wildlife, Celtic designs, uh, even the odd Nessie monster here and there. Look, there I've spotted one. There's a, that looks like a, that looks like Nessie there. Um, all the designs have come from old Celtic art workbooks and the internet, and sent them out here, and they get enlarged. Uh, they do large copy prints. And then, uh, with carbon carbon paper, transpose the um, design onto the wood, and away they go with the carving. The um, level of detail on some of the pieces is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, if you just look at the detail carving on that, um, and carving is only half the battle. There's then a team of ladies that uh, do all the, they call it reg mark, basically the sanding with sandpaper. They've just about worn away all the skin on their fingertips, but um, yeah, it's a, it almost takes as long as the carving, the, uh, doing all the sanding. Um, and the wood, most of the pieces are made from what they call here diara, which is Himalayan cedar, cedrus deodar. Uh, some of the pieces are made of Himalayan blue pine which is a local species of pine here, has the biggest, well the longest pine cone of any pine species in the world. It can be over a foot long, the, the pine cone. Um, most of the pieces are going outside, in fact all the pieces that are going outside, like these pieces here for the reception, they're all cedar, Himalayan cedar, because uh, it performs well outdoors and uh, 
shouldn't crack up and take in the water, whereas the pine is more susceptible to that. Okay, so that's the stock. <laughs> Before it's bundled up, it's ne nearly ready. There's some 150 pieces here ready to go. Uh, right, let's go see where the work's taking place. <laughs> you show the way. Here's Ishbel. Maybe you've seen her knocking Hello. about. She lives in Strathglass, my daughter, but she's out here as well at the moment. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to make sure we don't fall over on our way up here. Up, traditional staircase, this one, in the Himalayas. Just a log with the steps cut out of it. Master, masters of wood, the people here. They live in wooden houses. You can recognise, just from looking at a piece of firewood, they can recognise which species of wood it is. Quite incredible. So, this is where it all happens, when the weather's bad. When the weather's good, they go outside and sit in the sun. So.